Boys, I only did my duty. The flag never touched the ground, proclaimed Sergeant William Carney of the 54th Massachusetts Black Infantry at the Battle of Fort Wagner on July 18, 1863. In the midst of horrible, bloody fighting, with his fellow soldiers dying all around him, Sergeant Carney remembered that old glory represented all that he held dear to his heart. Instead of dropping the flag and fleeing for his life, he wrapped the flag around the staff to protect it and ran through flying Confederate bullets as he was struck in the chest, the right arm, right leg, and one that grazed his head. For his incredible display of courage, Sergeant Kearney became the first black American to receive the Medal of Honor. Over 360,000 U.S. soldiers died in our bloody Civil War as our flag, Old Glory, was with us at Gettysburg, Vicksburg, and dozens and dozens of Civil War battles where black and white Americans fought to end Democrat slavery. Many of those brave Union soldiers had the American flag draped on their coffins at Arlington Cemetery. Throughout American wars for liberation from oppression of totalitarian regimes, our flag, Old Glory, has been on our uniforms, planted on liberated ground, and used to drape the coffins of thousands and thousands of our fallen freedom warriors. As you can see in the backdrop behind me, Old Glory was with us at Iwo Jima. And let's never forget that three of those six brave Marines died ending the tyranny of Japan. During World War I, at the Battle of Belleau Wood in Chateau Thierry, helping liberate France from the oppression of Germany. During World War II, on the blood-soaked beaches of Normandy, France, on D-Day, June 6, 1944. It was with us in the blood-soaked snow during the Battle of the Bulge, where thousands of our heroic GIs died so Western Europe could be free from the oppression of National Socialism. The battles of Guadalcanal, Coral Sea, Midway, Okinawa, and many, many more as our brave warriors gave the ultimate sacrifice so Asia could be free from the horror of Japanese imperialism. The Korean War as 38,000 Americans died, saving South Korea from communist oppression. In Vietnam, the Gulf Wars, and Afghanistan, where far too many Americans have come home in coffins draped in old glory. Old Glory was with Martin Luther King at many of his great speeches and with thousands of civil rights advocates fighting to end Democrat Jim Crow. It was placed on Rosa Parks' coffin in our capital's rotunda. It was with Cesar Chavez as he fought red baiting in 1970. Old Glory was with us when we landed on the moon in 1969, and Old Glory was with us on 9-11, 2001. The spoiled former NFL football player Colin Kaepernick, indoctrinated in Marxist anti-American theory, hypocritically made a name for himself in the marketplace by disrespecting what old glory stands for and recently landing a lucrative job hawking shoes with a billion dollar sports shoe company where he infers he sacrificed everything for his anti-American position. Rubbish, Kaepernick. Old glory. The flag of our republic is much more than a piece of cloth. She represents and symbolizes the ultimate sacrifice of life for life and liberty. Colin Kaepernick, you sacrifice nothing, and you insult those who truly did sacrifice everything for life and liberty. I'm Dr. Jake Jacobs, and we'll see you next time on One Nation.